These two trials compared ustekinumab and rizinkizumab over a 52-week period, where both drugs were maintained over the, uh, the entirety of the trial period, with a placebo arm in the first 16 weeks. The integrated analysis allows us to look at the two trials together to give us more power to better understand changes in how these two drugs respond. They're both dosed similarly, both uh, at week zero and then four, and then every 12 weeks thereafter. And so you have long dosing periods in between. And the important analysis that we're looking at is maintenance of response, that is keeping the, pa the drug survives and keeps patients clear or almost clear over that course of the 52-week period, as well as looking for variations in how the, do how the response is maintained through the dosing period. So one of the major clinical issues we have with drugs that have longer dosing periods, that you go longer between the dosing periods, is that patients lose impact at the end of the dosing period. We can look at these curves and see if there's any impact on that by using rizinkizumab versus ustekinumab. In fact, as we saw from each of the trials independently and then is brought out more in the, in the combined uh, analysis, is that the, the uh, rizinkizumab is superior to ustekinumab pretty much at every time point, in particular at high levels of clearance where you have patients who have posi 90s and posi 100s. Additionally, the variation in response over the dosing period seems to disappear with rizinkizumab, which is a major, of major importance to our patients. We don't like this idea that I have to wait another few days before I get my next dose uh, because my disease is coming back. The safety message of the trials really is no message at all, which is what we wanted to see. Ustekinumab has been a very well-tolerated drug over time, and rizinkizumab in this analysis, as well as the other posters presented at this meeting, demonstrates a, a safety profile that's very, very similar to use taking a map, which is very encouraging for our patients in the future to be able to go on longer-term therapy.